Hello and welcome to a video where I'm going to be looking at uh, Battle for Ataractia, uh, which is a force of will expansion from the Alice Cluster. Now the Alice Cluster has rotated out of competitive play uh, and I believe it's the Lapis Cluster is the current one and there has been an announcement of a new set coming out in September, so fairly soon and there's going to be some new starters for that. I have actually ordered uh, a Lapis Cluster starter. I believe it's the Fire one. That hasn't turned up yet, so it's going to be interesting to see how they've changed it. Now, if you've never seen one of these booster boxes before, you, like me, will be impressed with the lovely gold leaf. Let's make sure it's nicely in focus. This is Chapter 4, which I believe is the last one in the Alice Cluster. Unfortunately, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting hold of some of the other ones. Um, but it's got this beautiful embossing of their sort of weird uh, magical seal. Um, really, really nice. And then when you actually open the box, depending on your box, I think there's six uh, inserts. So I've got this one in here. And then a nice little touch on the inside of the box lid, you've got this seal. Now, unfortunately, I did actually film myself unboxing this and um, the focus and the audio all went horribly wrong. So this unboxing is actually gonna be me showing you the cards I've already actually unwrapped. So apologies for that. If you want to share the total surprise of uh, ripping open the um, the packaging. Now I have to say, with regard to the packaging, it's fairly standard uh, collectible card game format, and um, I was pretty impressed. Um, it worked quite well. Uh, as you can also probably see, uh, the cards are a little bit mixed up. For example, I've got a rare on top here. Um, so hopefully, when I actually go through, it's not going to be too bad. Um, showing you stuff. Now I'm not going to show you every single card because that would be very dull. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of the left, the middle and the right trenches and I'll probably show you a few starters every single card and then just uh, jump ahead to just the, the exciting rares and foils etc. Anyway let's uh, get these cards out and start showing you what they look like. Okay, so here we have a, a nice light card, Reflective Water Shield. It's a one cost, and it's basically an addition that gives you plus 200, plus 600, and prevents all non-battle damage. So that's pretty good, but it's only against fire damage. Just watch out for that. Nice picture, and the artwork and the overall graphic design of uh, Force of Will I'm pretty happy with. The one criticism I would say is this font is very hard to read in real life, but there you go. Okay, so that's that card. Then we've got Fairy Flower Extract, a one drop again. Added Resonator becomes 200... Oh, that's weird. So Addition Added Resonator becomes a 200-300. So does that mean it doesn't matter what its stat is, it just becomes a 200-300? So if you add it to a 1000-1000... Looks like it does, so yeah, kind of interesting little card here. Uh, Corrosion, really like the artwork here, and I think I might have a foil version kicking around, and it looks great. Uh, so two costs, so one dark and one generic. Added Resonator gets plus 800, minus 400, so uh, good way to kill a card, or if it's got really good defense, obviously boost up the attack. So uh, still looking at commons, so Lapis Beast of Flame. This is a four. It's got swiftness, so it can attack the turn it comes into play. And it deals 600 damage to a target resignator when it comes into play, and then has a 600-400 baseline stat. So not a bad little card. Cost maybe is a bit high. Another one drop card. It's a soldier. When it's dealt damage, it gains plus 200 and swiftness, and it's 300-300. Then we get to the rares. Now I've got a lot of this chap here, Oberon. He's a two drop, so pretty easy to get into play. He's a fairy apparently. He's also got flying. He's also got quick cast, which is fantastic. And all fairies in your hand also gain quick cast. And he's a 400, 600. Now I assume you can have multiples of these guys in play. Uh, he doesn't seem to have a unique... Uh, I, I'm going to have to check whether you can have more than one of him in play because um, if you could get multiples of him in play, yeah, he, he could be quite obscene. And with a quick cast, of course, uh, you've got no blockers. Someone attacks you with a 100-100. You go quick cast this guy, block. Happy days, happy days. Right, here we go. Super rare time. 
This is Cayuga Rabbit Princess of the Lunar Halo by the looks of it. Uh, three cost. It's got a nice uh, texture. I don't know how we can get it to show up on the camera. I do have problems getting the texture to show up. Oh, there you go. Just about got it. So a little bit of texture on the foil. It's a little girl. It's got Awakening, a cost of two. When this card enters your field, you may search your main deck for up to four rabbit resonators with a total cost of one and put them into your field. Shuffle your deck. Whenever a resonator is put into the graveyard from your field, put a plus 100, 100 counter. And it's 800, 800. So it's a pretty awesome card that I do like that, especially if you like the rabbits, which are cool. A nice, very boring, plain old magic stone. And then I do like the artwork on this. It's a rotten black moon dragon. Cost of three. It's a dragon zombie, and when this uh, card gets a little boost here, it uh, this card and a target resonator gain minus 200, minus 200, and it's 800, 800, so yeah, you can sort of do direct damage with it effectively, although you might kill it in the process. Talking of fairies and elves and things, it looks like we've got another version of Oberon here. Song of the Fairy King, rather expensive at five, Put up to five target fairy resonators with a total cost of one from your graveyard into your field. Well, that's pretty cool. Then we've got a Force of Will points card. So we will skip past that. Okay, so next booster. Alice's Little Decoy, one cost. It's a soldier. Banish this card. Return up to two target resonators you control to their owner's hands. Okay, that's interesting. I guess you could deliberately weaken something or something's got an enchantment on it. Um, not enchantment, the Force of Will equivalent uh, addition. Um, yeah, so not a bad little card. Wing Trap. Now, I've noticed there are a lot of trap cards in this particular set. Um, cost you two will. It's got a trigger. You control a Wind Magic Stone and a Resonator with Flying. Then you can destroy a target Resonator with Flying. So... Basically, as long as you've got a windstone and a flying unit, you can just take out any guys who can potentially block you or attack you. Now, this is a weird card. Uh, the Robox costs two generic. When this card is put into a graveyard from your field, reveal cards from the top of your main deck until you reveal a machine with a total cost of one. Put that card into your field and shuffle your deck. And it's 200-600. So a fairly good blocking card. When it dies, it fetches you a machine. So really, really good in a machine deck. And of course... This is itself a machine deck, so you could use one of these dying to fetch another one of these, for example. Okay, Earthbound Wingman. I um, think I got a fair few of these, not surprisingly, as it's a common. Uh, cost of two, fly in. Whenever this card attacks, you may recover a target magic stone. So that's really, really nice little uh, bit there. And 500, 500 for a flyer. I, I think that's a pretty decent card there. Looks like I might have to do a kind of elf green flying deck. Sacred Knight, cost two. When a J Ruler enters your field, gain 500 life. Whenever you gain life, this card gets plus 200. And it's 500, 600. Now that's only till the end of your turn, that plus 200. So not ridiculously powerful, but still pretty sweet. Okay, a rare here. Titania, Prideful Queen. Seven cost. Ouch. 12 Apostles Fairy with flying. As you play this card, you may rest any number of resonators you control, paying two less to play this card for each resonator rested. So if you've got a way of untapping your cards or resting them, really, really awesome way to get this out quite cheaply. Um, other water resonators and other fairy resonators you control are plus 200, plus 200, and it's got a base 1200, 1200. So I like that card. The casting cost is difficult, but if you've got a way of doing some shenanigans here, that could be really, really nice. Basic old Wind Magic Stone, so let's skip past him. And, ooh, look at this, another super rare. Fantastic. Now, this is Hair of Inabi, I think that is. Uh, can we get any texturing on here? I don't think there's a huge amount of texturing. It's just uh, little kind of details. Uh, nice little bit of artwork there. Little bunny ears drawing a samurai sh sword. She is apparently a were-rabbit. So that's pretty cool and funny. So when this card enters your field, name a card, reveal the top four cards. Put all the revealed cards with that name into your hand. So if you've got a way of checking the top of your deck, you can just draw them into your hand with this card. That's pretty awesome. It gains flying and swiftness as long as you control a fantasy resonator. And it's 600, 700. And of course, it's got a fun little quote. All right, everyone, let's get hopping. Just don't cry if you get hurt. 
love it. Anyway, uh, Time Gazer Elf, um, that's also a four cost. Yeah, sorry, three cost for the hair, four cost for the elf. Uh, it's a resonator of elf type, obviously. When this card enters your field or leaves your field, draw a card, so that's pretty cool. And you can pay to look at the top three cards of your main deck. So, yeah, these two cards work quite well together. 600, 800. Collapse in world. So uh, th this is an uncommon in case you haven't spotted because I've just got it out of shot. Uh, collapse in world, cost of five. At the beginning of each player's turn, that player banishes a resonator. So, yeah, ouch, you can start destroying lots of things. Another force of will point, which means we're on to another booster. Um, I've got a couple more. I'll probably call it done after that and just show you uh, the, the, the kind of sexy cards. So Flame Soldier of Volga, cost of one. When it deals damage, plus 200. Swiftness, 300, 300. Pretty sure we've seen that one before. Cost of two for Blood Boil. Choose one. Deals 600 damage to your opponent. Your opponent cannot gain life till the end of the turn. Or you get plus 800, plus 800 on a Resonator and you have to destroy that Resonator at the end of the turn. So not bad little card. Lapis Dark Beast, cost of four. First strike, so that's always good fun. And when this card enters your field, destroy a target resonator with a total cost of three or less. So yeah, nice, 600, 400. I love the artwork on this card. That's a beautiful bit of art with the little kind of glowy bit and she's trying to grab hold of it. So last drop, cost of two, it's a chant instant. Choose one, you gain 1,000 life or put a target resonator with a total cost of two or less from your graveyard into the field, rested. Yeah, not bad, um, but I do like the artwork on that and again in foil, it looks amazing. Death Trap, cost of four, it's got a trigger, it goes in your chant standby. During your opponent's turn, you control a Darkness Magic Stone. So if you control a Darkness Magic Stone and three or more Resonators were put into the graveyard this turn, then put a Resonator from your graveyard into your field. So, yeah, potentially a really cool way of um, doing a surprise ambush. Uh, maybe with something like this, which costs a whopping 10. This is my rare. Um, so it's a 1,400. Um, and if your life is 100, you may pay... Ooh. Ooh, basically pay nothing to play this card. Blocking does not cause this card to rest. So, yeah, you can basically summon it for free when you're almost dead. And then, of course, if you've got life uh, boost in, you, you can play this for free, boost up your life, and then do all sorts of shenanigans. Uh, now, this is a fancy card, so it produces one uh, water, if I remember correctly, and pay to you know, rest the card, draw a card, then discard a card. So a little bit of cycling ability on your card. Um, not bad, not bad. Now we've got a little foil here. This is actually a common. Separation of body and soul, cost one. Destroy target resonator with attack different from its printed attack or defense different from its printed defense. So anything with a token on, potentially you can do all sorts of fun shenanigans. Now we get some rabbits. So moon breeze rabbit, cost one. Banish this card to produce, um, what is it, wind or, is that light? Can't remember. Uh, 200, 400. Then a dummy doll, which is a machine. It's got stealth. When a machine you control becomes targeted by spells or abilities your opponent controls, basically you can whip this out from the chance standby area. When this card enters your field from a chance standby area, cancel the target spell or ability targets in a machine. And if you do, draw a card. Got no attack, but 600 defense. So I think we're going to be down to the last booster that I'm going to show you every single card. So cost four, Spectating Magician, 400, 800. When this card enters your field, put target, spell, chant or spell, chant, instant card from the graveyard into your hand. And if that card's total cost is one, you may play it without paying its cost. So that's pretty cool. Not, not bad. Um, not brilliant, but not bad. Another machine here, cost three. When this card is put into your graveyard from your field, reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a machine with a cost of two and put that card into your field and shuffle the rest. 400, 800, so pretty nice. Uh, we've seen this one before, so cost of four, 600, 400, swiftness does 600 damage. Messenger familiar, cost of one, familiar. When this card is put into your graveyard from your field, search your main deck for 12 apostle. Reveal it and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. And it's a... Little chump block, 100, 100. Earthbound Wingman, cost two, fly in. You can uh, recover your stone. 
Then another card that I've actually got quite a few of, Interdimensional Escape, cost of three, it's a spell chant instant. Each player chooses a resonator they control and then banishes all the other resonators they control. So sort of a bit like a weird version of Wrath of God, I guess, from Magic. Right, Ataractia, Dimension of the Seven Kingdoms, it's an addition to your field. It's got a shift of seven, when this card enters your field, draw a card. I am going to have to look up what the shift uh, stands for. Is that to flip it over? I think it is. Yes, I believe it does. So choose one. Remove a target resonator addition or regalia with an attribute from the game. If it doesn't share an attribute with a card in any other removed area that was removed by this card, or remove target resonator addition or regalia with no attribute from the game. If there are no cards with no attributes that were removed by this card in any removed area, or put six cards in any removed area that were removed by this card into that owner's graveyards, you win the game. You win the game. Bit of a weird one, that. Might have to check exactly how that one works. Then we've got a nice foil version of our Spectating Magician. Oh, that's no moon. That's an artificial moon. Cost two. It's a machine moon with a really nice defense and not much attack. And then a disassembly line costs three. As an additional cost to play this card, you must banish a machine. Reveal cards from the top of your main deck until you reveal a machine. Put it into your field and shuffle the rest into your main deck. So, yeah, you can do some fun with that. And it's a spell chant. OK, that's it for each um, booster that I'm going to show you in great detail. Let's pop that lot in there. So what we're going to do now is very quickly have a look at the rest of the cards because you get quite a lot when you buy a booster box. Okay, so Rabbit Trap, Blood Boil, Blood Axe, uh, Survivors of Sisse, Last People of Gloria, and then we're into the rare. True successor of Serto Volga. He's a Resignator King. When this is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to your opponent. 400, 400, and only costs two. I do quite like that. Lovely foiled version of a magic stone. Oh, and this is nice. A foil rare. Guardian Angel Raphael. Resignator Angel. Cost three. Fly in. Your opponent cannot play cards from their chance standby area during your turn. And your opponent cannot play activate abilities of J rulers or regalia during your turn. 400, 800. That looks like an annoying card. Then we've got um, Fairy of the Sacred Vision and Napping Lion. And I've got quite a few of these just to warn you in this particular booster. So uh, Queen's Envoy, Spectator Magician, a Bulwark Architect, Life Profiteering Priest, Gathering of Fairies, really like the artwork on that. Uh, Machine Sympathizer, he is a rare, he costs one. Does, um, let's have a look. Yeah, so plus 200, plus 200 for each resonator with no attribute. So works really well with machines. And he's a 300, 300. So doing well there for machines. Another Cayuga Rabbit Princess. We know all about her. Sanguine Arena. So uh, basically it's an addition that you can tap to do 200 damage to each resonator. So yeah, that kind of kills things slowly over time. And um, Avalon, Illusionary Home of Knights. And we've got a Force of Will card there. Let's get that out of the way. So, uh, Remnant of Nilfelm, the Robox, Blood Covered Axe, Flame Trap, Operative, into our rare here. Melda, the Last of the Dead. He's an expensive five cost. He's a zombie. He's got stealth. And you can, if you control a Darkness Magic Stone and your life is 2,000 or less... Um, when this card enters your field, target resonator gains minus 400, minus 400 for each resonator with stealth you control. He's uh, not bad. Nice foily card here. It's the Bloodfire Dragon, one cost dragon with flying. When it enters the field, deal 500 damage to a target resonator you control. So I guess if he's the only one you play, he could kill himself. Um, stone, more rabbits, more singing. So more fairies, priests, stuff, stuff. I uh, don't think we've seen the Enraged Knight, so just dwell on that for a brief while. And then we're into the rare, which is Bors, Returned Adventurer. He's a Resonator Knight of the Round Table, which is definitely a thing from the older sets. Uh, when this card enters your field or attacks, target Knight of the Round Table gains plus 400, plus 400 until the end of turn. And it's a 600, 600. Not bad for three. 
Then we've got a fancy stone here, First Flight's Memoria, produces, uh, what's that, wind, and you can also tap it and pay a wind to produce any um, colour of your choice. Ooh, now that looks good. Has that no texture, it's just a regular old foil. Xion, that looks really nice as a foil, it really makes the colours pop. Um, it's a two cost resonator human. When this card enters your field, draw a card if your opponent has more cards in the hand than you. And you can pay and tap to discard a card, returning another target resonator to its owner's hand. And it's 500 500. So, yeah, I quite like that. Effectively, you could argue pay three to bounce stuff, although it doesn't have swiftness. So, not ridiculously powerful. Now, Croco Shark crossing. Um, in this set, there are um, potentials for shenanigans with Croco Sharks. So, this card here is a three cost. When this card enters your field, search your main deck for a card named as a target. Resonator, reveal it and put it into your hand. So, for example, you could say Croco Shark and go and fetch them. Target Resonator and all other resonators with the same name gain plus 300 plus 300. So, yeah, that's a fun one. If you manage to get your Croco Shark deck cooking, we'll have a look at that card when it turns up. Fairy of the Sacred Vision, banish this card, destroy a target additional card in the chance standby area. Yeah, it's a little weeny 100 600, but it is a fairy which works really well with some of the other cards. So, Wing Trap, Marabella's Work, Tick Tock, Corrosion, Sacred Knight, Oberon. We've, we've also got Cayuga, we've seen that before. A fancy down the drain foil, Fairy, and the aforementioned Croco Shark. Costs you three. It um, is an awesome card because you can have as many of it as you like in your deck. So, you could build a deck of almost 100% Croco Sharks. It's got stealth. When you play a summon spell from your hand, when this card enters your field from a chance standby area, you may put a card named Croco Shark from your hand into your field, and it gets plus 200, plus 200 for every other Croco Shark you control. So if you get a lot of these out, and also Croco Shark crossing, um, you can really abuse people, assuming, of course, they're not immune to damage by water. Um, so, yeah. Oh, haven't seen that one before. Yeah, no, pretty sure we haven't seen that one before. Haven't seen this one before. Maybe we saw it in the starter decks, thinking about it. Don't think we've seen this one before. This is a new one. My rare high-speed dash. One will. Choose one. Put a J-Ruler into your ruler area as a ruler, or return a target resonator you control to its owner's hand. A little bit of a weird one, that. Nice foiled stone here, and it's Call to Actions Memoria. So it produces light, or pay two, and gain 100 life. Now this card, I believe, is one that gave people all sorts of bother, and it's probably why a lot of people are pleased this particular um, you know, set has rotated out of the game. It's Reflect Refrain, if I remember correctly. He um, costs five, apparently. Uh, actually, yeah, hold on. Yeah, he is Reflect Refrain. Costs five to do that, so uh, let's start on the other side. So, yeah, you may pay... Yeah, I'll flip it and put counters on it, and if there's a counter on it, um, you can destroy, think, oh, it's just a really horrible card. So, yeah, um, I guess the trick is you may play either side of this card, flip this card, um, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, so you can pay one to put a counter on, so on this side you pay one, pay one, pay one, pay one, and then flip it, and then remove them, do stuff, and then flip it back. Or if it's about to get targeted, flip it. Uh, just do all sorts of horrible things with it. It's a very unpleasant card. And uh, there is a card in this set to try and deal with it. Uh, we've seen the dragon. I don't think we've seen the ring of fate. So let's quickly talk about that. So it's four. Each player discards the hand, shuffles all magic stones from their graveyard into their magic stone deck, and shuffles all other cards from their graveyard into the main deck. Each player draws five cards and removes the top five cards from the deck. Oh, and they go from the game. So they're totally banished out the game that's pretty interesting so yeah seen it haven't seen it yeah seen it seen it sort of seen it uh yes we haven't seen this one set free another nice piece of artwork uh cost three put target resonator on top of its owner's main deck put up to one second target resonator on top of its owner's main deck if this card was awakened so pay five and you can put two cards back on top of decks Napping Lion, cost two. This card cannot attack or block. 800-800. Nice shiny um, stone there. 
We've seen that one. This one's new. Cost two. Your opponent discards a card at random, then discards a card. So that's pretty unpleasant. Then last booster by the looks of it for this particular trench. So seen it, seen it. Uh, yeah, I think we've seen it. Didn't really see it, but there you go. Seen it. And we've seen that. Stone foil version of our friend here. Rabbits and that. There you go. So that was just one third of one box. So going to go a little bit quicker now and just quickly show cards, not talk about them in too much detail. Now, for some reason, this first uh, stack of cards have all got mucked up. Uh, so we've got Oberon, we've got a nice shiny high-speed dash, another one of these um, Avatar of Destructions, which actually I think we haven't seen before. Uh, this is possibly new as well, Home of the Wingman and Fairy Shadow. So that's that first initial stack, which for some reason has got separated out from the rest of the cards. So let's quickly whip through the rest of this central stack. So commons, 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 and Machine of Lab of Lagunas, which is a weird two-cost card that allows you to fetch stuff. A nice shiny version of the Fairy of Sacred Vision. Another super rare, Hades, Lord of the Dead. It's got all sorts of text on this. It's a 14-14 for cost of nine. Um, for each card in your chance standby, you can pay less. It could, in theory, cost you just one. Uh, darkness to play and you can banish a card in your chance down by area to get minus 400 minus 400 pay two banish a card in your chant, chant standby area to destroy a target resonator um, and also two and tapped but target resonator with stealth you control into its owner's chance standby area another lap in line and more songs from our elfy friends so again don't think we've seen that before common 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 ah here we go Rare, Black Moonbeam, cost two, destroy target J Ruler. Players cannot chase this card. Yeah, Reflect Refrain might not like this card. Uh, shiny Wind Magic Stone, uh, rem Remote Control Golem. So pay one less to play this card for each machine you control. So can't be destroyed, 2000, 2000, unpleasant. So yeah. Okay, so that's that card. And then commons, 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 commons. Another Titania. Then we get to another J-Ruler, Spice Tame Pursuer, Gil Lapis. I'm not going to dwell on this because I know I've got another sexier version of him to come. Nice uh, shiny wing trap, Avalon and Ring of Fate. Commons, 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 commons. And where's the rare gone? Where's the Ah, oh, here it is. Titania. Ah, oh, that's the slightly nicer version of Gil Lapis. Let's see, can we get the texture in? Yeah, there you go. Look at that. What a lovely card that is. Other side, it's got some nice artwork. Not all the J-Rulers in this do. Some of them have a nice side on one side and then a fairly boring side on the other. Um, so, yeah, he's a funky one. So he's got Shift, and when it enters your field, you can search your deck for a 12 Apostle card. And on this side, which is Full Art, when this card enters your field or Shifts, choose one. You may pay zero to play shift abilities or target card in a field rather than pay their cost until the end of turn. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff there, and it gains swiftness. So, oh, and then it disappears. So it's quite a funky one. Uh, we've got a stone, and we've seen those before. So let's skip down to the rare. Well, we've seen set free, another stone, another shiny version of uh, that gentleman, a rabbit. Yay, rabbits. And a uh, fairy shadow. Okay. We're making good progress now, so it's not going to be a 17-hour long video. Okay, so commons, 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 commons. We've got our rare friend, and oh, Farah. Now, she's got the slightly boring face side, and I believe that's, is this because she's a wanderer or something? Anyway, so she's got a judgment of four. That allows you to flip her over, and then she becomes this 1,000-1,000 chosen girl. Um, the card gains Faria, the ruler of Godsword, in addition to its other names. When this card enters your field, if you control a Call to Actions Memoria, destroy up to one target resonator. If you control four Call to Action Memoria, destroy all resonators your opponent controls. And whenever you gain life, put 100 100 counter on the uh, J resonator you control. Lovely version of this picture. I did say it was lovely because I knew I had this card. Look at that. I just lovely 3d nature with the the foil gaining life croco sharks yay dummy doll 
And then commons, 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 commons. Oh, interdimensional escape, a stone, fancy foil, common. Technician of Leginus. I don't think we've seen that. It's a three cast, 600, 600. Reveal the top two cards of your main deck. Put two cards with no attribute into your hand and put the rest in your graveyard. Fairy. Commons, commons, commons. And, oh, oh, we've got a fancy version of our illusionary demonic globe. Let's see, can we get the... You might just about see some 3D on it. It's not particularly good, although it does have this nice... Um, effect on it so yeah that rather funky card a stone oh circle of trust i think that's new it's cost two search your main deck for two fairy resonators reveal them put them into your hand shuffle your deck or all fairies you control are plus 400 plus 400 till the end of the turn yeah really good for your fairy deck and talking to fairies there's a fairy of shadow 500 500 destroy a target resonator of a total cost of one nice commons 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 we've seen him before Seen her before. Oh, look at that. Nice shiny version of this card. Didn't really show you much. Uh, cost 5, 1,000, 1,000. Swiftness. When it enters your field, you may play a fire spell chant or spell chant instant with a total cost of 3 or less from your removed area without paying its cost. Croco Shark Cross in and World. Commons, 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 commons. Oh, Ywain, Knight of Lions. I think this is the first time you've seen him. He's a Knight of the Round Table, cost three. As long as you control a beast, it's got swiftness and first strike. Gains plus 200, plus 200 for each beast you control. And when it attacks, it deals 200 damage to each Resonator, 600, 600. We've got a Memoria here, produces fire, or pay three, tap it, and deal 100 damage to your opponent. Remote control beast in foily version, Avalon, and another dragon. And then... Battle for Ataractia, it's a remnant. You may play this card from your graveyard. If you do, remove it from the game instead of putting it anywhere else anytime it would leave the chase. Target J Resonator you control and Target J Resonator your opponent controls deal damage equal to their attack to each other. Cost you two. Nice shiny rabbit. A stone, another technician and an artificial moon. There you go. So, not a bad box so far. Let's have a look at the final little trench run here. Let's uh, get cracking. So, blah, 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 blah. And here we go. So, another Lord, Lord of the Dead stone. Oh, small assistant Mirabella. Cost two. She's a human machine. 500, 500. When this card is put into graveyard from your field, you may search your main deck for a card named Mirabel, the Steel Doll. Or Merry Bowl Insane Self Aware Machine, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your main deck. Remove this card from your graveyard and produce two. Spend this only to play activate abilities on Merry Bell. So, yeah, not bad. And Napping Lion and our technician, so skipping past all that. Another Guardian Angel. And ooh, look at this. Possessor Princess of Love, Valentina. Now, I thought this was Prissia when I first saw it, I didn't realise it was Valentina. And if we flip to her other side, maybe you can see why I thought she was Prissier, because she is Prissier. Ah, so there is obviously some story where she gets possessed by Valentina. This body isn't comfortable at all, but that's OK. You're next, Alice. OK, so there's some funky story going on. So I'd like to hear more about that. This is a super rare, so it's fairly normal on this side. But on this side, I don't know, can you see the texture in? textures oh the textures very pleased we've got this card i really do like uh, prissia she's a great card so M magic stone ring rabbits and moving on boars we've seen him before i believe oh this is new shiny version of sorrowful necromancer's memoria also a shiny version of earthbound bound wingman a moon a rabbit and next oh seen him before and nice shiny titania and oh it's a nice textured version particularly on her wings don't know if you can see that hopefully you can very very nice oh and another valentina so that's definitely in my trade i've got my super rare version i don't think i need a normal version uh elf avalon and next rare battle 
And is this the first Glorian Princess of Water, Charlotte? I think it is. She costs three. She's a wizard. And this card enters your field with five counters on it. As this card shifts, you put ten counters on it. Remove four counters to draw a card. Okay, so that's a funky card. Uh, we got a nice shiny Titania, not textured. Dragon, Lion, and next rare, Guardian Angel Raphael. Hopefully this is staying in shot. I'm not uh, doing a very good job at that, so apologies. Uh, Avalon in the shiny, Magic Stone, Dragon, Technician. Moving on. Set free. Another hair, Shiny Blood Boil, Technician, Avalon. Okay, we're getting down to the last cards from this set. So this is it. So yes, seen it, 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 and yes, we've seen that. We've also seen that. We've not seen too many shinies of this card, but yes, we got a shiny, another Croco Shark, Time Gazer Elf, and slightly boring rare. And ooh, hello, hello, what's this? So normal, textured, textured ruler. So I have another trade because I had one normal version of this. So excellent. Stone, Crocker Shark Crossing, Doll. Almost went past it. A call to action memoria. Rather boring, shiny common, but wow, does it look good. Home of the Wingmen, Circular Trust. And remote control, shiny stone. Shiny Cayuga, super rare version apparently, no texture. Uh, technician, Croco Shark Crossing, and then another Wolf, Beast of the World. Nice shiny Circle of Trust, which looks really nice. A Stone, Sanguine Arena, and finally Disassembly Line. So there you go, that is box one of two. Just to remind you as well, on the back of the cards, got this great design. Really, really like the aesthetics of this game. Um, I am tempted to try and buy all of the latest set, which is coming out in September. So that's one box. We will just quickly look through this box because uh, we are getting up there on the timings. And um, this is an older set now, which um, I actually picked up because I got a really good deal. I got both of these boxes for less than the price of a starter. So I'm really pleased about that. And I'm pretty happy with the draws I've got. I am aware for competitive play, however, that these sets are no longer valid. And yes, I got two inserts that are identical. Oh dear. Anyway, let's get into this box. OK, just to give you a comparison between the two boxes, I will just show you a couple of complete boosters. So, separation of body and soul, one blue, destroy target resonator with attack and defence being different. Wing trap costs you two. When you control a wind magic stone, flying, destroy target resonator with flying. The robox costs two. When it gets destroyed, fetch a machine for free. Sacred knight. Enraged Knight, I don't think we covered this one, so cost you two, it's a knight. As long as your opponent controls a Darkness Magic Stone, this card is plus 200, plus 200 with Swiftness, so really good sideboard card if you're playing against a Darkness deck, or you just splash it in a red deck, because it's not bad at 500, 500 for two. Uh, Sanguine Arena, seen that one before, I believe. Artificial Moon, and then here's the rare. Some of these cards, unfortunately, are a little bit out of order, and... Alessara's Avatar, and Down the Drain, which destroys target Fire Resignator. So uh, let's pop that in the right area. So Eyes in the Darkness. I don't think we talked about this one. So one Darkness, target J Resonator gains minus 400, minus 400 for each card in your chance stand by area. Queen's Envoy. Again, I don't think we covered this one. So cost one. It's a fairy. It flies, and it can't be blocked whilst rested, and it's 200, 300. Oh, sorry, it can block whilst rested. It uh, needs to be able to read. Okay, Earthbound Wingman, talked about that. Reflecting Water Shield, pretty sure we talked about that. Yes, talked about that. Fairy Shadow, did we talk about that? Not sure. Cost two, so Fairy Shadow, uh, destroy. Yeah, I think we maybe did talk about that. 
Circle of Trust, choose one, search your main deck for up to two fairies, etc. Nice little card. We know all about this gentleman. We know all about this lady. And ooh, ooh, foily. Nice. Anyway, we've talked about that one. Okay, um, the Robox, Sacred Knight, Enraged Knight, Eyes in the Darkness, Queen's Envoy, The Song, Dragon. Ooh, this is new. Don't think we've seen this one. So Reza, First of the Dead, costs four. It's a zombie with stealth. If you control four or more magic stones, you control, and you control a darkness magic stone and no resignators. When this card enters your field, you may pay 1,000 life. If you do, search your main deck for a card and put it into your chance stone by area face down. Shuffle your main deck. Costs you 800-800. Fun um, remove target card in a graveyard from the game. Sorrowful Necromancer. And ooh, shiny interdimensional escape. Nice. Uh, so Bulwark Architect. Marabella. Survivors of Sissy. 400, 400. Yeah, not bad. Uh, life Profiteer and Priest. I don't think we spoke about that. So whenever another Resonator enters your field, you gain 200 life. So nice little life gain. Blood Boil. Cross in. World. Set free. Stone. And, ooh, a shiny Glorian. So nice, 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 nice. Got quite a few shinies. One of the great advantages of buying a box of boosters, you get guaranteed cards. So super rares and rares and shinies and all that. So always well worth it. So Queen's Envoy, Earthbound Wingman, Reflecting, Lapis Beast, Remnants, Fairy, Rabbit. Ooh, another Black Moonbeam. Ooh, that looks nice. Shiny Stone and a shiny true successor. Anyway, there you go. That will do for showing you every single card. I think that will uh, be more than enough. So let's whip through the rest of the deck. Okay, so yes, 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 yes. Jolly good, jolly good, jolly good. So uncommon, uncommon, interdimensional escape. Stone and, oh, a nice shiny fairy. Okay, uh, remnant, bulwark, marabella, saliva, life. Yep, so into the uncommons and our rare is Machine Sympathizer. Stay focused. Uh, we got another Kaiva and ooh, shiny. And ooh, there is some texture. There is some texture. Let's see. Can you see the texture? Um, yeah, a little bit. It's not showing up great though. Well, there you go, a little bit. So yeah, good fun. Swiftness and first strike and all that good business. Ooh, rabbit trap. When a JE resonator your opponent controls attacks you, puts up to three target rabbits with a total cost of one from your graveyard into your field. Fantastic. Love it. Cost four, though. Mm. Okay, Covert Operative. Uh, I'm not sure we spoke about her, but let's move on. So our rare. Another Memoria and Shiny Fairy Juice Essence. Um, so into the Uncommons, Dummy Doll, Avalon. Our rare is that. And what's this? Ooh, a shiny Hades super rare. A shiny sacred knight next to a sacred knight. Uh, da, 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 moving on, moving on, moving on. Ooh, have we got something exciting coming up? I think we do. Oh, yes, we do. A Makana. There you go. Nice full art one with the boring side on the other side. So lots of text. Uh, I believe they have improved the look of this in the Lapis Cluster. Um, but um, yeah, move on. What's my rare? It's rare. And then we've got a hair and a shiny corrosion, which does look good. Do like that. And then finally, for this little trench here, we have for our rare, hmm, and a Hades and a shiny beast of flame. Okay, so moving swiftly on into the middle trench. So we've got our uncommons. We've got another Oberon, a nice Actions Memoria, and a shiny wing trap. So uncommons. So there you go. Another one of the beastie, another stone, and another shiny set free. So got a couple of uncommons there. Then we've got our remote control, a stone, and a shiny remote control. Nice. Let's move through to our doll, Avalon, Interdimensional Escape, and oh, another refrain, and a 
shiny moonbeam. And moving on, song, dragon, battle. Ugh, another Valentina. And ooh, shiny boars. Okay, drop that in here. Let's put my little papery bit on top to separate out my boosters. Okay. So weirdly, when I opened up this box, this card was the top card in both uh, pockets. Uh, but you'll have to trust me on that because unfortunately I've mucked up all the layout. So, oh, Croco Shark, a Boars, and something exciting coming up, a Shiny Sanguine. And seem to have got a load of rares and uncommons stuck together here. Whoopsie, and a Shiny Moon. So, whoops, whoopsie, that went, that went a bit wrong. Not sure what happened there. Some uh, card chaos. Then comp back to the commons. So let's skip forward to a dragon, an elf, another drone, oh, shiny stone, and a shiny uh, technician. And you might be able to just about catch some shinies to come as well. So we got sanguine arena, artificial moon, guardian, another shiny stone, and oh, Alice in Shadow. Four, no, three cost. Resonator, Shift, Murderer, Shadow. When this card enters your field or shifts, destroy a target J resonator, sorry, a target resonator with a total cost of two or less and other J resonators you control are plus 200. I told you you were weak. Ready, Schrodinger? I'm going to kill every single of you. Yeah, I think that's meant to be every single one of you. Um, it's a foil, doesn't really have much uh, texture in. It's a 500-700. I think this is the only version of the card I've got in the entire deck. It is apparently a super rare. It's lovely. And of course, it's Twisted Alice. So, oh, something sexy's coming. Rabbit. Technician. Set free. Wind and, ah, oh, super rare. Full art. Textured. Oh, look at that. It's just lovely. Really makes the artwork here pop. Not sure why she's swinging around a violin, but apparently she is. Anyway, try to stop spoiling the cards coming up ahead. Uncommon, so home, lapis, moonbeam, stone, and another shiny textured card. What is it? It's, yes, nice full art. Jolly good. Oh, and totally mucked up the layout of this stack. And then lion, croco shark. So, oh, oh. A Rezard. He's shiny, but he's not he's not full art with texture. Again, bore inside. And a shiny restless dead there. Remnants. And then yes, there you go. That's where I mucked up the stack. Anyway, that hopefully is that for that particular stack. So we are two thirds in. So just this lot to go. Hey, skipping through, skipping, skipping, skipping. Shark crossing, world, battle, stone. Ooh, shiny, fairy, nice. Wind trap, yeah, moving on. Nyan, shark. The beastie again. Ooh, shiny. <gasps> shiny Oberon. Uh, that is all commons, yes. Ooh, ooh, song. Dragon. Guardian Angel, Stone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, looks nice. Super rare. Reflect Refrain. Bit of a shame I got a load of Reflect Refrains because apparently they were worth quite a bit of money, but sadly now I think they're pretty worthless uh, due to rotating out of uh, the particular competitive block. Anyway, hopefully the focus didn't go too wrong there. Uh, Dummy Doll, Avalon, Oberon, Stone. Ooh, shiny. Moving on. Dummy, Avalon, Dude, Stone. <gasps> oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Right. Enough drooling. Time to get cracking. And having just drooled over the fairies, there they are again. Not so shiny this time. Okay. So, Dragon, Elf, Titania, Stone, Exciting. Uh, just plain old shiny. And almost skip past it. So disassembly, ring of fate, titania, stone, 
shiny Mirabella's work. Pay one less to play this card for each machine you control. Well, that's not bad, and it draws you two cards, so really good in the machine deck. Want lots of those. Was it four, I think, per deck? So there you go. So home, dark, balls, another Glorian, and ooh, is that? Yes, this is the 3D. Got slight texture. You might just about be able to see it. So that's really nice, textured, shiny, interdimensional escape. Another home, another song, Rain, Stone. Ooh, yeah, that looks nice. And Elf, Dude, Shiny Stone, Shiny Axe. And then I think we're pretty much done. So Napping Lion, Croco Shark, Ewain, Ooh, Small Assistant Mirabella. Home of the Wingman and the final booster, which possibly is partially incomplete because I totally mucked up this box. Let's have a look. So, Rabbits, Technician, Melda, oh, another oh, Gilapis, and oh, look at the 3D on that stone. That looks great. Anyway, there you go. That is my two boxes of the Battle of Ataractia. And I have to say, I am enjoying Force of Will. I'm hoping to get it back to the table soon. Um, I'm going to be able to do a nice sort of cube draft, potentially, with all the cards I'm gathering. That's what I'm thinking of doing. And, um, you know, I'm not playing it as much as I would like, due to the fact there's so many other cool games out there. And you've probably seen several of the videos I've uploaded. Um, but yes, definitely got a two-player day coming up. I'm probably going to look at trying to take... The uh, this game back to the table maybe not with these cards but um, you know soon hopefully I will manage to do that anyway I hope you've enjoyed that another quick look at Force of Will it's definitely a game worth considering getting into in September because a new set's coming out and you're going to be able to pick up some cool new starters I think there's six starters uh, now the one thing I would say in the UK the game can be a bit hard to get hold of I'm really upset I can't track down a copy of Vingolf 3 it seemed to be a short print print run, came out, oh, I don't know, six months ago. I just can't find it anywhere. Uh, I did find one auction for it, which was a ridiculous asking price, and I wasn't prepared to pay for it, um, because I think it was like a 40 quid box set, and they're wanting like hundreds of pounds, uh, which is just madness. So if anyone has a box they want to sell me for 40 pounds, get in contact. Anyway, um, that will do for this. See you on the next video.